is dead. The Netanyahu parody count. Um, he he calls them Zarens, Zionist Karens. Zarens. Zarens. That's Zarens. good. So this is Zarin number one. I I mean I just happened to notice this over the weekend. So university. So Zarens declared war on college students this past weekend because I can I'm about to show you like five different videos of Zarens just going off because they happen to see this on the news and they're just like walking in and just like harassing these people be trying to get like a gotcha out of them. Yeah, they're just so. trying to get <clears throat> If you guys remember the Occupy Wall Street movement, if you remember that growing up as being like overly goofy and nobody knew why they were there, it's because what the what the media did was they went around and they got as many interviews as they could. And then they took the ones that were like the least favorable. They scrapped all the ones where people actually like gave in-depth breakdowns of like what the movement's about. And they got the most least favorable ones, and they just played those. And I remember my dad got like soup headed into like regurgitating this, where he's like, "Yeah, they're all just lazy. They don't want to work. Like they don't even know why they're there." I heard this one interviewer. They're, that's what they're trying to do here. They're. I'm going to show get that later. On footage. Today. Yeah. Yeah. They're trying to like. They're trying to make it seem like oh, like they don't even know what they're protesting. They don't even know these kids. They don't that's know what they're always, talking about. That's always the that's play. What it is. All they need you to. Well, like, we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that. Yeah. Let's, let's. This is Zara number one. This is incredible. This is really funny. This went viral. I got it. It just brings me to. We've been seeing all over the news all the craziness that's happening on college campuses, especially at UCLA. So I decided to come here for myself. Like do you mind if I interview? I'm not going to talk to media. Excuse me, do you guys want to tell me what's going on here? No, sorry, we're not. We're not letting any media in. You can't just, you know. Okay, we were just standing outside, just trying okay. to. Are we allowed to ask you guys a few questions? A lot of us just don't feel comfortable. I can direct you to media liaison. Um, we're not gonna. Um, we're not gonna interview with you today. We're not gonna engage with people that are gonna be pushing us. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Oh, they know who they know she's an agitator. She's on fire. Con. Of course they do. There's like, a, because there's we all live through this. We've seen, we know the tactics every single time. It's, it's the same fucking tactic. When the cool kids won't play with you. Yeah. This is the face you make when the cool kids don't play with you. <laughs> That's so good. But, uh, you can just go to her account. I mean, she's very obviously pro-Israeli. Like, oh, I already shit on her. In, yeah, uh, you know, bring back our girls. Like, this is very obviously an agitator. If like you know, she's got a decent following on Twitter. So like, people know of her. She's been on Fox News all the time. Um, we're not gonna interview with you today. Not gonna engage with people that are- We have a media liaison. You can talk to the media liaison. Be pushing us. Yeah, Never but the thing is- like in my life. No, I didn't. The media liaison is not gonna give them, like, talking to a media liaison works if you're acting in good faith. She doesn't want to talk to the media liaison because that person is probably really good at presenting this whole thing in like an accurate light. That's not what that's not what these people come to these events for. They come to fish for gotchas and for anything they can spend. They're only there so they can repackage this as a negative thing and use it to brainwash the 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 pretzel uh, the the Cheeto people. That's whatever. why you see the clips on Twitter of like people being like, "Oh, like they don't even know what they're talking about." It, it's like this soup brain shit. Like what? Talk to one of our media. They won't speak to me. No one will speak to me. There's a desk over there with me. No, translation. They're not telling you, they're not telling you what you're looking for. I've tried, and this lady specifically is yeah, telling me I'm an agitator. Don't engage with yeah. agitator. Because you're an agitator. You 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 appear on Fox News. You 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 appeared with Shy David Eye on this like panel. Like of course, like they know you're, they know who you are. You make your, you, you fucking dumb blonde bitch go like blast yourself on the internet and then pretends and then pretends like no one knows who she is. Like, I'm just trying to understand what you're protesting. For some reason, no one from your guys' team will let you guys speak. 
And I don't know why you guys can't speak to me. Girl starts mm. crying. <laughs> That's Holy so God. funny. These people won't talk to her? What? And like, this is so intimidating and scary for you guys to be- Intimidating and scary. That's- that's what I actually Channel said. I, I responded to this clown and I said, being reduced to tears, I said being reduced to tears because people you feel entitled to having a conversation with aren't giving you a conversation isn't something any adult should be doing for no. any, for any reason in life. No. Like, the amount of like, I don't know what it is, but the amount of like, infantile like five-year-old shit that i'm seeing around like any sort of one of these issues where they're just like you should not be crying because people are telling you no you're a fucking adult if the answer is no then the answer is no and you move on you get over it that's just part of being on. an adult it. part of it's no right sometimes you hear no the fact that you're standing there crying as an adult human being because you heard the word no is not fucking normal Okay, everybody needs to understand that. That is not normal behavior. That is normal behavior for a four-year-old when you tell them they can't have paint chips for dinner or some shit. That is not some shit you should be, like, as an adult, doing for any reason. You should not be crying because you heard the word no. You got to accept that. Sometimes shit doesn't go your way. That's that's just that's can't reality. Always get what you want. Rolling Stones. She's though. standing there crying, and then you can tell, crying. like, you can tell her NPC brain you know. is switching for like every manipulation tactic. She's going like, "Why won't you talk to me? This is intimidating." Like, she's just she's bouncing from one dialogue tree to the other to just figure out like any way that they're gonna like sure. any way that she can spin this in a direction that like makes it favorable. And still, I mean, they still got fucking content. Because she's spinning this as like, they won't talk to us. I'm trying to be like the adult here, and I'm trying to be bigger, and you guys are just shutting me out. Me. It plays like, like parody. It literally plays like parody. Yeah. Specifically, it's, it's, it's like, telling me I'm an agitator. Don't get agitators in this. Just trying to understand what you're protesting. For some reason, no one from you guys. Read the signs. The team will let you guys speak, and I don't know why you guys can't speak to me. You guys like, really this is not so know? intimidating and scary for you guys to be standing here. I literally have walked around for the past two hours just asking peaceful questions like, what's going on here today? Why are you guys here? And no one can speak to me. And you guys are laughing. I don't understand how this is funny. I genuinely wanted to learn from you. And I wish we could have ended in a hug. It's, here okay. it is with the hug thing again. Okay. It's, it's really fucking funny because like all anyone has to do is pull out their phone, look up this, this weird melted Barbie of a human. And just go look at their fucking Twitter feed. Obviously, they're lying and they're full of shit because I can go to her Twitter feed right now. And she I, she seems to have a pretty good understanding of the protests. She seems to be covering it pretty well, I think. Um, you know, she seems to have plenty to say about the protests. You, you can go and you could see right away. Her pinned tweet is the bring back our girls. Like, like you don't like, like this isn't a mystery. This isn't like oh, I have no idea why you're protesting. Bullshit. We have receipts showing that you do. We have receipts showing that you know exactly why there's a protest going on. And the fact that you're pretending that like you need to come there and like ask questions or like figure like understand people. You're not coming there to understand people. It's very simple. Just in your 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 dialogues on social media, like you get it. Oh my god, these people it's just like I don't understand how this works on any no. human being. They've never been mm -hmm. told no, not even once in their life. So they're like, this is like the first time she's been told no. And yeah, these people, literally, it's, that's it. The entire the entitlement is is staggering. I'll I'll say that much. It's it's really that bad. Like I'm, I'm shocked myself how how much these people feel like you, like they, like we owe them something. Yeah, it's very apparent. And, and that's the, that's the, that's the culture we live in, though. There's like, there's this really big like, take what you want. And hyper like, individualism. You deserve. Yeah, hyper individualism, one hundred percent. And this is what you get. You get people who, like. 
they make themselves the victim when when someone exercises their free will to decline something they're asking like like you're not entitled to any of these fucking people talking to you for one second okay they don't owe you their breath they don't owe you their time none of them do they're not there for you they're not there to cater to you they're there because they feel really strongly about a cause and they can choose to talk to you about it or they can choose not to and the fact that you're making this a massive fucking speak to the manager moment because <laughs> you just can't handle the fact that they don't want to talk to you is really fucking telling because that's like, I don't want to listen to you at that point because like, what other, what other applications in your life do you apply that to? Do you apply that to your kids? Do you apply that to like your friends? Do you apply that to your relationships interpersonally? Like, like, do you just, do you go through this life just feeling like I'm entitled to everything and anytime there's a no, I'm just, I'm just going to like react this way because I like, I don't even want to be a friend at that point because it's exhausting. No like, one wants to be around these people. Like they, 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 that's why they laugh at, at her face. That's actually what I hoped from this. I'll actually that's give dream. you guys some psychology advice real quick. I'll give you guys some psychology advice real quick. Anyone who gets upset at you setting a boundary is someone you don't need in your fucking life. That's a narcissist. Okay? That's a narcissist. Across the board. That's a narcissist. That's uh, a lot of the time that's someone who just hasn't dealt with a lot of unprocessed trauma. Whatever it is. If you try and set a boundary and someone gets upset with you for setting a boundary, you'd, you have free reign to just cut that. Just, just cut it. Just cut the cord. You know you know why? Because that person is never going to respect boundaries that you set. So if you're not good enough at setting boundaries, what they're going to do is they're going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. If you see shit like this, how this woman is reacting on this fucking video in your personal life, that's someone you should consider reevaluating your relationship with. For all of this, that we can understand each other understand each other the hug that they always bring it back to like this oh we're just trying to we're we're just trying to help you like you're a fucking like mental patient what are you trying to understand i just exactly. this is what i'm i'm trying to like what do you need to understand i, I want to know why you're you here like, have? it's very obvious that like you're it, it's like this condescending bullshit where they <laughs> well listen to this I think we need more barricade, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I retweeted that. It's so good every time. They're just like, oh, God, we need more barricades. <laughs> I, that can't, that, like, there's no, she, she posted that on, like that on purpose. That's crazy. Crazy. But we got Karens out in the wild. Like they're they're, they're just trying. turning out. This past weekend, they were just keep coming out. They're just now, now. We have we have people now that now this is all over the news and it's international. We have people coming out of their house now to come visit these protests and go. I don't know. Just go fuck around, harass people, bother them. This lady just walked her dog into uh, fucking Northwestern. She's. She just walks into a crowd of people and calls the police. Like, imagine if I walked into a synagogue and I said, and I and I just I called nine one one and I said, "Hello, police. Yes, I'm I'm an American. There's a bunch of Jews around me. Can you please help me?" Imagine if I did that. Now watch this. Nobody is going to hurt them. Nobody is going to attack them. This person is not in harm's way. They are free to leave. Nobody is going to hurt them. Nobody is going to attack them. I'm like, this person is not in He's like, I'm really scared. I'm God. really scared. Oh, dude, I, God them. bless Nobody's this generation. Going to them. I'm like, this person is not in harm's way. Yes, yeah, they're right behind me right now. They're fully signing. This person is not in harm's way. I need genocide. I need help. I know that, but they're all just surrounding me. They won't let me move. No, no, you are free to move. They're surrounding. Okay. You, you are free to move. She is this free is to move. So, this you is so. This is. This is so fucking evil. Oh my god, this is Jesus. She's free to move. She's free to leave. She is free to leave. No one is surrounding her. Nobody is surrounding you. She is free to leave. You are free to leave. 
There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's Western University, these are students. They're, they're no, they're surrounding me. I can take a She's free to leave. No one is surrounding her. Need help. No one is surrounding her. No one is surrounding her. I'm just walking my dog. I need help. She's free to leave. Just, I'm just walking my dog. Is it just a fed? Is this a fucking Dude, fed? I don't know. I, like, I think this is just a fed. She's like, she's a, she's, it's a like, she's a special needs teacher at a school in Chicago. I just, I the like the hilarious thing is through the video, you can tell she's like lying on the phone to these people and it, <laughs> they're surrounding me. They're blocking me. It's like, bro, you can just walk that direction right there and you can go away from the people who, who don't want you there. They don't want you there. So this why are you like walking up to them mentality. and calling the police? Dude, it's you unhinged. Get this, like you cannot get this like victim like the, this level of victimization like unless you were like raised to be like oh i'm i'm mrs princess like i gotta you know like, you you have to be grown up in an environment in order to like establish that you know mode of consciousness to walk around the world and be like everything serves me everything's yeah. about me and i and you have to abide by what i want it's insane. so in psychology in psychology this is a lot of like covert narcissistic traits. So I've covered this before, but like overt narcissists are people like fucking Trump, right? They're, they're like grandiose or like, I'm the best. I, me, I'm, I'm perfect. I, I'm the best color of orange and all the history of orange. Like that's Cheeto, fucking yeah, Trump, right? Cheeto people. Yeah. The Cheeto people will understand, but covert narcissists are different. They're people who pretend to be good people. But then they always use the victim card whenever, like, any – basically whenever they don't get their own way or something, like, isn't going well for them. So this situation is not fucking going well for them. So she has to switch, switch to victim mode. That's under the assumption this isn't a fed. I'm I'm 50 50 that this is actually just a fucking fed because the way they were talking, they're like, I'm just walking my dog in this area. Like, I'm sorry. It just it it reeks of bullshit to me. You cannot get a man. There's so many of these like weird characters that are just showing up on an oar. And it's like, why don't you just fuck off? I'm a Jewish American. How about that? I need help. A she Jewish pulled the J American? card. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a Jewish American. I need help. I'm a Jewish American. I need help. Please come Hey, Cynic. Thanks for coming in. I'm wearing a white Adidas shirt. I have a dog with me. I'm walking a dog. I need help. So when you when you when you're calling the police, like wouldn't you have like a sense of like urgency? This Cynic girl makes a good point. So like. You, wouldn't you have like a, a, like w like if you're like on the phone for like a robbery or a murder? Wouldn't you be like more frantic? Like they're surrounding me. I need help. She's she's literally go on the phone. Like yeah, they're surrounding me. Like um, I'm walking my dog, and there's one, two, three. Five. Yeah, I need help. I ne can you? I would have. I need help. I would. I would have pulled the reverse Uno card. I would have called the police and be like, there's a fed at my protest. Or, uh, there's a fed at my protest. They're trying to, uh, I feel unsafe. Um, I don't want to get, awesome. uh, I, like I would have stood right next to her and just so been like, we're both, we're both talking out. Actually, because this is very illegal. For, so calling the police, like uh, someone replied to this too. Let's see yeah. Has she been arrested and charged yet? Illinois Statutes, Chapter 720, Criminal Offense, Disorderly Conduct. Oh, Calls shit. them in the law 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 them. causes to transmit in any manner to public safety agency for the purpose or mark of making or transmitting a false alarm or complaint and reporting information when, at the time of the call or transmission is made, the person knows there is no reasonable ground for making the call or transmission. And further knows that the call or transmission could result in the emergent response of, a, of any public safety agency. Yeah. So she knows what she's doing. And it's it's really unfortunate that, I mean, we're, uh, we're I'm about to show you Xanar number three. They, they just keep coming out. To Wait, is that the same person? Is that the same person? I don't know. No, this is in Australia. 
but this this is the this is like a very similar situation. They're dressed so like identically. In, uh, yeah, I know, right? So this is the this is the the University of Sydney in Australia. And this woman just walks up to one of the university encampments and just starts taking a bunch of flags and banners. Just this, this is my just getting fucking. This just got just getting creepy. Are Are you Australian? Australian? I'm a settler because shower. I'm Australian. What's give the fucking difference? Stuff. We can discuss this, but give us our stuff back. It goes in the bin. No, it it in the Actually, bin. you can get student misconduct for this because this is violating your campus. Your campus student misconduct. The camp's actually no, completely it's not. fine. The camp's completely fine. How is the camp okay? Because we're a peaceful protesters. And it's free speech. And by you taking our banners, this is not peaceful. You're grabbing something out of my hand. Oh my God, it's like going in my hand first. Look, we're not gonna let you steal from us. It's pretty easy. Why would we accept you stealing from us? You are in our How do you think Jewish students feel on campus? Our they have no the argument. Campus. There's no argument here. How do you You're think literally Jewish just students fucking feel? Taking our shit, dude. I would just argue, like, what about all the Jewish students that are here with us protesting that? Like, <clears throat> here's where this argument Wait, breaks down. Because, like, we all know the fucking pivot here. The all the pivot here is like, oh. The actions that this specific government is taking means you're against like this group of people. I the easiest clapback is you say, you can say this to liberals or conservatives. It doesn't fucking matter. Just say, okay, so uh, would this president um, would criticizing the actions of this president's government mean that you're anti-American? Because that's that's your argument right now. So you say I say it to conservatives. I'm like, so it, if you're criticizing Biden, you're anti-American. Isn't that right? Well, no, because Biden's blah, 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 blah. And it's like, okay, so how is that any different from people criticizing the actions that this government over here is taking? Does that mean that's like what, they what, hate a the whole country? That's actually a good point. Right-wingers are actually siding with Joe Biden right now. Think about that. Yeah, they are. They're like, which, oh, which basically. Is like, which is sort of like, which is sort of the next thing we're going to get into, which is pretty much a good trip, which is a good transition, but we'll, we'll finish this. How is the camp okay? Well, the camp is okay because they got a permit, or they they or the university knows they're in communication, and the camp is, is like it's legal. They already settled this out with the university. Oh, is my camp okay? Because we're peaceful protesters, and it's free speech. And by you taking our banners, that this is not peaceful. You're grabbing something out of my oh, hand. Oh, you you like, just grabbed it. Hand first. Look, like we're not going to let you hand. steal from us. It's pretty yeah. easy. Why it's would we easy. accept you stealing from us? You are in our banners. How do you think Jewish students feel on campus? Our banners right have our demands on it. So if you take this right now, you're taking stuff from our camp. Our and the speech. university has permission for you to yes. do this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They would have shut us down long ago if we didn't have permission. Have permission to take our stuff yeah, I don't know if you checked the student email. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. The flowers. I love the flounce. She's like, eh. Incredible. Oh, people. This, you, this feeds me. This feeds my soul watching what these makes parents. parents. What makes so what does it say about the state of our society that when people leave their homes that they treat people like that? They, they they think it's okay to treat people like this. Like I'm concerned about like literally like if we're going around treating normal everyday people like this, this is insane. 